Hello everybody, welcome back to more Exit the Gungeon. We took a little bit away from it, and honestly I'm not sure if we're going to be doing much more of it, but we are back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Look at the dang uh, flying wings on the pilot here. We're doing the pilot on the robot's path to see what's up, what's up. Maybe we can, uh, I don't know, add another one to the to the checklist there, but... I don't know, I took uh, I took some time away from Exit, and we just... I didn't know what the heck else to record today. Didn't didn't have time to start a new series. I figured we might as well play a little bit more Exit the Gungeon. A couple, like, a couple people asked where uh, where it went, but uh, if you don't know, I, I kind of was just like... We already got a Gungeon thing going on on the channel right now. If you've missed it, you should definitely, definitely check out my new mod, the Gungeon series. At this point, it's what, like... It's like eight or so episodes in now, which is pretty wild. But we've been, in, I've been enjoying it a ton. Seems like a lot of people have been, uh, a lot of people have been enjoying it a ton as well. We effectively have so many dang mods on the, ooh, so many dang mods on the thing that uh, we like, <laughs> we effectively added a whole expansion. The amount of new custom items and custom items and custom guns, custom characters. Hell, there's even custom floor layouts. It's actually truly, truly bizarre. But uh, I thought we would uh, we'd come back, come back, give it a little bit of it. Especially since, uh, man, it's it's been a it's been a wild, wild time. I didn't get to, you know like I don't like to just stop series and then just boom, boom, ba poof, they're gone. I really don't like to do that. Unfortunately, it's kind of like a thing that's often like a good idea. <laughs> but here we go. Back at it again for a little tiny bit here. Playing as the pilot. I, I, I kind of like, I know that we should be playing as the robot, but taking a week away and then coming back to play as him sounds like a terrible idea. Sounds like a really, really bad idea. But anyway, we got the, basically, yeah, I'm going to be starting a, a new series soon. And effectively, I'm just waiting on uh, the, the Patreon poll results. If, I mean, if you want to participate, there's still going to be time to participate in that. Patreon.com slash Retromation, everything at the $5 tier or higher. You can you can help choose what the uh, the next series that we are going to be doing on the channel is going to be. It's a new thing I'm going to be trying out Whoop. with the Patreon supporter deal up there. So, I mean, if you're interested in that, you can check that out. Whoa, mama. Oh, mama. Uh, currently, it's like it's basically based off of all of the uh, the Let's Try series videos we've uh, we've done recently. Uh, the only thing that's not an option on there is going to be Monster Train due to the fact that uh, the private beta is going to be done by the time, or the public beta is going to be done by the time the poll is done. Holy moly! Gotta be, I gotta be frank, it, it it feels pretty smooth, the transition back into this game. Okay, okay, okay. Is this care, is this boss easier or harder with the ability to fly? I wouldn't be shocked if it was actually easier. But a, a nice thing to help with the, the transition back into playing this is the fact that we are on the, uh, the flight level. So effectively, like, it, it controls... Yes, it's... it's in a not as uh, clean and fast way, but it controls in the same general way as uh, as Enter the Gungeon does, you know? Oh my god! Absolute Duke! Are you kidding me with that hit? That was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Got some angry bullets up in there for nothing. Heck, though. I mean, at least we got broccoli. At least we got the brock. That's something. Maybe today we can finally get that last NPC. Do we want bum bullets? I'm gonna save my money. I'm gonna save my money, because I think we may need to purchase something from Flint to be able to find that final NPC. And that's one like that's one really annoying loose end we kind of had uh, not tied up, and I think that that is due to the fact like like I was saying there's probably something hidden in the game 
that uh, is keeping us from finding it because the uh, just the, the whole RNG of not being able to find them was just it's just it's just been weird how we were getting so it was so frequent that we were finding them and then all of a sudden they just went kaput 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 oi oi so I, I was like, yeah, I mean, it probably has something to do with a uh, with a stinking, holy moly, with something secret, something hidden, something secret, something safe. Uh, I, I, so I figured at least. Uh, boy. But here we go. Consider this an open uh, open call for potential game suggestions as well. There's like a lot of really uh, really cool ones, or a lot of really nice ideas for. Uh, for games from the Let's Try series, but you know, I, and I'm probably gonna be starting one of those like regardless. But honestly, I'm I might be in the market for starting like two new series soon here. So if you have any game ideas, let me know. Obviously, like don't say like Silk Song, Spelunky 2, Darkest Dungeon 2. Don't say any of those because I'm going to do those when they come out. But I'm looking for something like now. Something a little more immediate. It was, it's, it's always crazy how it goes. Like, it always shifts back and forth. I'm like, man, there's way too much to play right now. And then now I'm like, you know, what's the big rogue like right now? <laughs> One step from Eden? I mean, it's on the, it's in the pole. It's in the pole. I don't know if people would be uh, would be down and in, down into that or not. If you want to help, make, if that's one of the things you want, you want to help make that happen, you can support on Patreon, if, or you can just tell me. Whoop. But uh, it's, a, it's a pretty close pull. It's a pretty close pull from what I've seen this morning. Heck, it'll be interesting to see what it, what exactly we got here. There's been some some slappers in the Let's Try series. Whoop! I should waited. Should have waited to ice bomb him. Okay. I feel like I should probably dodge roll, plain dodge roll more in this game, but it always just, it almost feels like it's not intended to be your primary mode of transport. Like, I know that the primary mode of transport is probably, like, supposed to be uh, both of them, but I don't know. I always just find myself uh, relying on the jump way more than the other things. But, like, you should really be using both, and honestly, you should probably be using both, for the most part, simultaneous. <sighs> if there was one thing that was nice about stepping away from the game, it was not seeing your dirty, rotten face. Okay. That was a good, that was a good way to get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more damage in. Heck, okay, that's the time right there. There's been no uh, no new updates. That's kind of like one of the big reasons why I uh, I sort of stopped stopped playing is because I was like, they're they're changing a bunch, they're fixing a bunch, and then uh, and then there's just uh, there's no more changes. I and my theory for that is they're working on a substantial update. That's my guess. It's like they were doing like, here we go. Let's do for the first week or so. Let's put out some uh, some nice new updates for it. Whoop! Fix some of the problems people are talking about, and then after that, oh come on, with this stupid. We should have even done that in reverse. We would have at least gotten a combo out of it, a combo point. But my guess, this obviously this is not. I don't have any behind the scenes info on this. This is just like a this is like a gut feel and vibe situation that they're probably working on like a something equivalent to like the supply drop update for Gungeon. If I were to if I were to take a wild guess, and I am personally very very excited about it. People seem to drop this game like a like a dang bad habit. Like you may be like, "What? You why'd you only do why'd you stop the series?" But like why am I the only person who did, who's done seems to have done a series over to dang like almost ten episodes? Everybody, everybody has just uh, dropped it like a dropped it like a bad habit. I think it's uh, I think it's good. I think it's good, but I think that 
people were expecting something else and hopefully whatever update they bring to the game will be that thing that people want. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's a really, really good spin-off. Super good spin-off. Chork. Hello, Chork. Glad I saved money. I should be able to buy that. The hell is that? Don't worry about it. Come with me, copper. Come with me. Blast him. Blast him. Blast him. Oh, <laughs> dumb. Oh, <laughs> dumb boy. Man, getting hit by like one stray shot in this, it just always feels so bad just because of the combo system. But truthfully, it doesn't like... I have no idea what I got hit by there. I actually have... That one I don't know. Maybe it was poison? Or like uh, one of the bats or something? I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know, man. But, yeah, if you, I mean, if, if you guys want more Exit the Gungeon, you know, today will probably, <laughs> I'll be honest, today's probably going to be a pretty good judge of uh, whether or not I do a, a few more episodes or not. But what I will say, if this is, uh, like, the last episode or whatever, in at least for a long time, I will say I'll come back when there's a new update. Duh, of course. I will come back with a huge smile on my face. Oh my god. Oh, thank you for putting it there. That actually helped a lot. Okay. God dang. The damage is just not doing it for me. Come on now. Coin crown, it's good and I want it. Uh-oh. It's good and I want it, but not going to help me during this fight. Oh, my God. Sling. Actually, a bang or supreme. All right, good deal. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. And hey, look, <laughs> there's the coin crown. What if there was like a little uh, thing in place where if you pass up uh, pass up a pickup, it made it more likely for you to, uh, to get that item. I mean, that's such a weird niche idea, but like it could be cool. I should probably keep my money. I don't know. We just need to buy literally anything from it. It can even be a consumable. And maybe with Coin Crown, we're going to get enough anyways. Okay. Bip, bop, bada, bo. I mean, holy crap. See, there we go. That's 63 right there. Maybe it makes it so, like, enemy enemies just drop more money. And in that case, these rooms would be banging. Heck, because normally I don't think that... Ooh, normally I don't think they give you that much. I don't think they give you very, very, very much. But now we're at 111. I mean, it is a more, obviously, like, compressed gungeon experience. Of course, of course. But, uh... Oh, heck. That's a lot of money really fast. I think... Ooh, thank you. Fat bullets. Bam, bam. Love him in this because you don't need to worry about that ammo. I'm just pleased because we might actually... We, we will totally have enough money to buy something from any NPC we find. I, I'm just going to, like, try to make an effort to just blindly buy literally anything from literally any NPC to try to increase our chance of finding that last NPC. Because it's like, <laughs> it just feels goofy to not have all the N NPCs. Like, I, in my head, I'm like, I want to go for 100% unlocks. But, like, at this point, the un unlocks are pretty much just, like, find, find the NPCs, talk to the NPCs, and then do their quests. Which I want to do, but, like, I, I here's one major thing I would like to see changed, and it's... 
it seems like it's a thing that a lot of like gun I mean enter the gungeon has as a weird thing too and that's the fact that like you it's so rare to find rare things and things that shouldn't be that rare are also rare for some reason heck heck and I think that NPCs shouldn't be that rare in this personally they didn't patch this did they that'd make me cry we can't reflect these back. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, we got really lucky there. Got really lucky there. Coin move? That move is always just such a gamble move, because it's like... If you stand still, the chance that you're get gonna get hit is... Like shockingly low so you can actually get a lot of DPS out there fine we'll, we'll still have enough money to buy like a, a heart or something and we're probably not going to get very much money anyways but still don't worry about it not worried about it got one final shot uh what is happening here Galactic Medal of Valor mixed with military training manual? Because that is disgusting. Huh. Oh my god, though. You smelly man, though. I don't like you, though. Cut. Just like... The spider wouldn't be that bad if they were you know, on a normal room. It's just this room layout with the spider sucks. <laughs> it sucks really bad. And they like, they're almost always there. God dang though. That candy. That magic sweet fire rate. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. Bouncing on the booty. Bam a lamb. Stand right above. Just literally stand with a, uh, a hunting rifle. Just literally right above their dang dome. Shoot down. Okay. Blip, 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 blip. Alpha boys. Sure. It'll help us out a little bit at the very least. And we did not get any NPCs. Disappointing. Disappointed! I was hoping to tie up that loose end in this one episode, I'll be honest. Whoop. Spider. But yeah, but... The spider's always, like, not that... It's not really that bad of an enemy. Uh, It's really not that bad of an enemy. It's literally just in this room he sucks. But this room... This room has always been kind of goofy because of just the the amount of enemies in such a small vicinity has always been such a a goofy little situation that's it's tough to balance that. But you want to obviously like, you want it to be hard because like if, it, if it's not hard then it's just like it's a condensed gungeon experience. If it's not if they don't throw a lot at you, you know, then it's just then the game's gonna feel like a joke. I'm gonna buy one of these. Save the rest for our damage upgrade. Uh, up. uh. Good deal. Boop. I'm already. I've been entering the gungeon all dang week. <laughs> if we die here, I will be disappointed. But I also would like to have a different gun, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's make it go away, please. Thank you. 
Thank you, very big thank you. That is a slapper, slapper, slapper. Heck. Absolute slapper for the fight. Just for this, uh, for this boss, it's ab like just absolutely ridiculous. Heavy bullets? Fine. Not good. Yep. What did I say? I said not good. In case you weren't listening. Particulator with heavy bullets sounds actually pretty nice because the damage is relatively underwhelming, but it's got that, like, it's got that big homing vibes. Okay. Big home and vibes. Heck. Okay. And we are absolutely fine. I could just literally just stand here. I could just stand here and anyway I started blasting. Fly birdie! <laughs> Go home! It's time to leave the nest! Boa, boa. I'm glad we could come back and at least get a victory here. Would have been embarrassing to come in and just, uh, you know, like, die on the first boss or something. It's not petting the dog. I really do wish we could pet the dog. They really need to fix that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can pet and enter. You can't pet the dog and exit. Strict downgrade, obviously. But there we go. I mean... We should have gotten a decent amount of credits. I don't know if we got enough credits to buy a costume, but we should have gotten a decent amount of credits. All right. But is it what? Body the wall? <laughs> Body the wall elevator the roof through roof? Is that what he's saying? I really one of these days should uh, just do the whole dang gungeon rap myself. I need to learn it. I need to learn it and uh, and perform it. 63 credit. Oh wow. So we got 62 total there. We still have that one, but. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I just love the, uh, I love the other versions of both of those so much more. I guess let's just actually buy, let's buy one of these suckers. Oh, I do love that. Cool guy. All right. I think... So we could do a 20 and a 15. 20 and a 15. All right. Got all kinds of them. 14 out of 34. Would you look at that? Wonderful crown. Thank you very much. All right. Well, let's switch the track right there. And uh, heck, is there anything even else? Whoa, zoned out there for a second. Okay. Is there even anything else to do here? Can you gungeon kill your pass? The gungeon, it is my pass. You have a gungeon to exit. That's your gungeon to exit. Yeah, I think we talked to everybody. We did everything we really needed to do, but, uh, all right. Well, anyways, I guess I'll use this time to, uh, once again, say, if you have not checked out the mod of the gungeon series, if you somehow miss it, or if you're new here, the, if this is your first video, that is bizarre, but welcome. And check out my brand new series on mod of the gungeon. There's effectively an expansion's worth of content added to the game, and we are 
scraping our way through it. It's been an absolute blast. There's like Hollow Knight character, Kirby character, all kinds of custom items that will absolutely shape the game in crazy ways. Whole new custom floor, everything. And if you want to have a say in what series I do next, patreon.com slash retronation. Anything at the $5 tier or higher gets you access to vote in the poll on what series comes next so you can check that out but as for patreon very special thank you to dhex throbo nadel rick justice on the shogun gun more than awesome it's semicolon p and patricia for supporting on patreon at the go team gungeon deer absolutely appreciated for supporting on uh, on patreon right now because uh, honestly if without it <laughs> probably wouldn't be able to do it do the the youtube thing full time right now so i really genuinely super appreciate it and mark off the fact that we did the robot as the pilot pretty darn good we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 22 different permutations left and we did 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27, 26, 27, 26, 27, 26, 27, 26, 27. okay we did 27 there's 22 left i mean that's a pretty good ratio and honestly like it's really not like what is new content that we haven't seen left in the game? It's effectively just the NPC and a couple items. I think we're missing... <sighs> Heck, what are we even... What are we missing? Cool, 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 cool. Alright. For, uh, for items, I think we're maybe missing a gun. If I remember correctly. One. One gun. And maybe, like, three passives. One, two, three, four, five. What? Did they add more? That doesn't sound right. Five. Yeah, well, anyways, that's going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. If you are new here, subscribe for roguelike content and more every single day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time.